HaKadosh Baruch Hu comes to Moshe Rabbeinu and he says, I am charging you with the great mission to take the Jewish people out of Mitzrayim. So Moshe says, I'm going to come to Bnei Yisrael. They're going to ask me, what's your name? Vayoymer Moshe ho el ho eloikim. Hinei anoichi ba'el Bnei Yisrael. Vayamartilhem, I'm going to say to them, Eloikei avoyseichem shalachani aleichem. The God of your forefathers send me to you. Va'amruli ma'ashemai. They're going to say to me, okay, if God appeared to you, if the God of our forefathers appeared to you, what's his name? Ma'oymer aleim. Moshe says, what should I tell the Jews? Hashem says, what should you tell the Jews? Vayoymer aleikim el Moshe. Ekya asher ekya. I will be that I will be. What is this conversation between HaKadosh Baruch Hu and Moshe? Moshe says the Bnei Yisrael are going to want to know, what's his name? What's the name of God? And Hashem says to Moshe, well tell them, my name is, I will be that I will be. What is the back and forth? The Ramban, this is a classic fundamental Ramban. The Ramban explains that Moshe was asking HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the Bnei Yisrael are going to want to know, Hayra Shlema Al Hamatsius Vial Hahashkacha. A absolute definitive proof on the, of the reality and existence of Hashem and definitive proof of Hashem's divine intervention in this world. The Rabban learns that the question that Moshe Rabbeinu was concerned the Bnei Yisrael were going to ask was Moshe, prove to us definitively that there's a God and that He controls the world. That's a powerful question. So what's the answer that Hashem tells Moshe to give the Bnei Yisrael? Says the Ramban, Hashem tells Moshe Rabbeinu, V'hakadosh Baruch Hu Heshiva, God responds, Lama ze yishalu l'shmi. Why do they need a proof? Ein lohem tsoirech l'raya acheres. They don't need any other proof. The greatest proof to the existence of HaKadosh Baruch Hu is that when we call out to Him, He answers us. And then the Ramban makes an astounding statement. That is the greatest proof that there's a God in Israel. Kroivim eleinu b'chal kareinu elav, that he's close to us whenever we call out to him. It says Ramban, the greatest proof to the existence of Hakadosh Baruch Hu is the efficacy of tefillah, that when we call out to him, when we call out to Rebbeinu Shem, he responds. The Stipler going writes in the Sefer Chai Olam that even though at times it may seem that we call out to Hakadosh Baruch Hu and we don't see that our tefillahs are, are accepted, says the stipler, we have to understand that all tefillah is effective. We don't have any idea what the situation would have been like had we not prayed, had we not davened. But every tefillah is effective. The stipler refers to the Gemara Brachas and Daf Lamed Beis. Amar Rav Chanin, Amar Rabbi Chanina. Kal hamarech betfilasai, anyone who davens a long tefillah, the tefillah will never be returned empty-handed. And the stipler says, this doesn't just mean that if somebody davens a long Shemana Esra, his tefillah will be answered. But even if somebody davens a short tefillah, but he davens repeatedly, daily, or perhaps many times a day, every single day, the conglomerate effect of the tefillah will be such that it is considered as if somebody was marich betfilasai, as if somebody davened long. Says the stipler going in the name of the Medrash. Some tefillos are responded immediately. Some tefillos, it takes three days. Some tefillos, 30 years. But all tefillos are effective. So effective, says Ramban, that when Moshe Rabbeinu asked HaKadosh Baruch Hu, they're going to want to know what proof is there to your existence and your divine intervention. The answer the Rebbein Shalom says is they don't need any other proof more than when they call out to me, they will see that I answer their tefillah. Says Ramban, V'hi haraya ha-gedoyla sheyesh eloikim v'yisrael. That is the greatest proof 
to the existence of the God among the Jewish people. Wishing everyone a wonderful week.